If you are under the age of 18, the content of this video is not intended for you. Please stop watching now. Hey YouTube, it's Audrey and I'd like to welcome you to the 7th annual Christmas on a Dime YouTube Hop, hosted by Dee who is Elegant Embellishments. As you saw by the intro, things are a little different this year and everybody has the opportunity to play along. Information about that will be in the description box in the bottom as well as links to the five designers and D's channel who are all participating. So this year we did things a little different also with how we're doing things. In the past, we've had a $20 budget. This year, D gave us $5 that we could spend on uh, the project. We are only required to do one project this year. Some of us may do more than one project. We shall see. But we were to spend the $5 pre-tax and then everything else that we use were from is to be from our stash, which was purchased before October 1st. We want to make sure that everybody knows that you can do a lot of things with things you already own and not spend a lot of money. So that's the purpose for having things used that was purchased before October 1st. I will have links to everybody below if I did not say that. And I want to quickly show you what I spent my $5 on. Um, I went to the Dollar Tree. I got some of this spray glue. I got this piece wood particle board sign. I got this ornament. And then I got these stickers. And then from Hobby Lobby, I got this Christmas tissue paper um, is $1.99, but it was half off, so it was a dollar. So that's my $5. And I will be focusing on making a home decor piece this year. And I will be back to show you what it is that I have made. Stay tuned. So I'm back to show you the things that I used and my project. But before I do that, I just want to remind everybody that in the description box below will be the instructions for participating in the challenge this year, which is a new part of the hop. So the grand prize is a $25 PayPal um, deposit from D. So you must participate in the challenge. So again, read the rules below and play right along. So I have used multiple things that I pulled out of my stash. And some of it, you can see I'm getting to the end of it. But I used a Celebrate ribbon that I've had for several years. Um, this gift trim here that is coming to an end i pulled this out from i think i got this last year um this is from the dollar tree so it was some decorative bells um this was something i got last year on clearance at michael's and i think i got it at 80 percent off and i used this holly leaf right there I used these little jewel, one of these jewelry shop um, screws from Hobby Lobby. I used some want to scrap bling. I used a couple pieces of bling out of this bling goodie box from um, Three Birds from HSN years ago. I used almost all of this pick that I had in my stash that I got on clearance after Christmas. And then I used a sanding block and filing tools. And then the last thing, I used a few pieces um, from this bag of things here from a class I took from Frank Garcia 
um, a few years back when he used to come to um, the scrapbook store in Milwaukee. He would have different classes. And this one, I think, might have been either a Christmas tag um, class or a um, the mini album. But anyway, um, you can see there's little pieces. There's bells. There's glitter balls, styrofoam, ribbon. So just different pieces that I had left over. So I used a couple things out of there. So before I show you my project, I did want to also tell you that I do also have a personal giveaway for um, this hop. And for me, for my giveaway, I will leave it open until next Friday. Yes, next Friday. Let's go with next Friday. So, um, I believe that is on the 10th. But whatever this Friday is, um, make sure that you have watched all the videos. There are only six of us this time, so make sure you watch all the videos. And then comment on all the videos and that you are subscribed to all six of us. And what I am giving away is this Christmas magazine craft kit from Crafters Companion. This one is one from last year, um, but it is a Christmas themed issue. So um, I thought it would be um, good to give this away. And it does come with not only the magazine, but it comes with the snowflake um, ornament die and a 22 piece stamp set and a um, embossing folder and then a cd-rom so i'll show you right quick and so we can move on i've got you in suspense about this project but here's the stamp set and this one allows you to do layered leaves you can see the different um, size leaves and then you have this piece and a piece over there that you get layer. Um, it has some sentiments in there. This is the die that comes in here. So it's a very nice size. And um, it has different pieces. You could use this inner piece. You could just make it a circle. Under there also you got the little um, hook. And then um, holly leaves. Then you have the embossing folder and it has all those patterns and then there's a cd-rom that has all of these nine collections of digital paper so again for mine you must be i forgot to say that in the u.s because i have to mail it so um, I'm sorry for those of you watching outside of the U.S., but we all know the postage situation. So you have to be a you in the U.S. You have to subscribe to me and the other five people that are in this um, hop. Leave a comment on everybody's um, video. All right. Without further ado, I showed you the things that I bought. And I ended up not using this at all. Um, I was originally going to use one of these, but then um, I found that other wood holly piece that I showed you, and I like that better. So I'll have to use those on another project. This is, I used one sheet of the tissue paper, and this is the scraps that I have. Pretty hefty scraps left over um, just from one sheet. And that could be used on other projects too. So very thrifty to use the tissue paper. So without further ado, this is kind of hard to show, but this is my project. And I struggled to find something to be able to hang it on and show you. And it's hanging crooked because... 
<sighs> but here it is. I took the piece um, word sign and I covered it with that tissue paper. Then I used one of the bells here. I used that wood piece and what I did there is I used a q-tip and I used some black ink actually it was memento and I colored it in with those with that q-tip and the ink so that it would be black and red and here I have the sprays that I cut from the um, pick that had the balls on it and here are actually some of the balls from that pick. I use those down there. These two, the red glitter ones and the bell, are things that I got out of the bag of Frank Garcia stuff. Um, also, I added two little black stars here just to add something to it. But I thought it looked a lot better with more embellishments on the top. So really liked how that turned out. And then I also covered the back in the tissue paper because the back was plain. Now I did not cover the back of the peace sign. Um, probably <clears throat> simply because it has the hanging parts on the back. And I didn't want to take that off. But you can see I also have a red bling star up there. And if you can see, I have the red blings all over the project. Just randomly placed to add a little interest. But I have a tree that I put up that was uh, my husband's favorite tree. And with it it is a large tree a large theme tree so it has a lot of buffalo check black and red and so i'm going to use this to either hang in the room with it but i wanted something that <clears throat> excuse me was still a little rustic like most of the things that are on the tree the ornaments and things but i wanted a little bling on there too so i kind of did a cross between to have some bling, some bright silver, and then still kind of keep the rustic nature of it. And then the last thing I did was it had that rope, uh, that jute twine, and I just covered it on both sides with some of that silver ribbon. So, although it's hard to see and it's kind of crooked, that is the project and i will also take a shot of it hanging on my wall here in the craft room to show you afterwards at the end so um hold on and i will show you that okay so here is the project hanging on a wall and this is in my craft room for now, but I just wanted to make sure you could see the whole piece. And that's funny because it says piece, the whole piece. <laughs> and just want to remind you guys, look at everything in the description box below as far as links to the channels, how you could participate, basically be doing the same thing we did, the deadline, and how to enter. And then also make sure you remember to check the date and what you need to do for my giveaway. Thank you all so much for watching and you have a great and very, very blessed day. Bye-bye.